and ambassador for fitness brands, as well as actor, musician, producer, and gym owner Clint Brink. A very good morning to the both of you. Thank good you so morning. much for joining us. Good morning. Oh, no, I feel it's a good thing I'm wearing a loose top. So you, <laughs> can't, you can't see any extra rolls of flats. You look fantastic. You exaggerated. You. Coming from you. You exaggerated. You huge. look fantastic. <laughs> but you do find, I'm sure, beginning of the year, many people put it on their to do list. I want to shape up, I want to lose weight, but also, more importantly, stay healthy, don't you find? Yes, uh, most people make it their New Year's resolution to stay healthy and keep fit. But we find that during the course of, uh, of, of the year, they lose it. They lose it. They don't stay consistent and disciplined throughout the year. In January, the gyms are fully packed. And, and I think the problem comes when people see a, a healthy lifestyle as a destination to arrive and stop. And they look at it as a diet. And it's not a diet. We often tell them it's, it's a lifestyle that you need yeah. to adopt on a daily basis. It's about loving yourself every day. And that you cannot stop after a week, after two weeks, after three weeks. You love yourself every day till mm -hmm. the day you, you, you die. Mm -hmm. And you need to invest in yourself every day, an hour a day invested in yourself even in winter ah uh, in winter in that, winter in no, winter it's a ah. desert at the gym it's not like no one's at the gym it's nice, it's nice training yeah. in winter yeah but, but clint tell us how you made that uh, if i can call it a, a transformation or metamorphosis from uh, yeah. you know this lifestyle that is usually so unhealthy uh, yeah. with the media you've got back-to-back -back deadlines and yes. you're eating on the go etc and now you've focused on health how did that come about for you you know it started with a very simple thing my mother used to tell me when i was young she was like one of the best gifts you can give yourself is a healthy body you know and I just find that you know I've always been I've always been um, sporty you know when when I was at school as well I played basketball rugby a lot of things you know so for me it was just like I saw how the physical aspect of what I do enhances everything else that I do you know um, being consistent within your training and within your eating will make sure that you are consistent in your work ethic you know, it'll make sure that you're consistent in your business. Um, being, uh, you know, giving yourself goals in training and being able, because at the end of the day, your physicality is your primary base. You know, we have so many things set up in, in, in the world right now that if you have an emotional problem, there's someone that you can go see. If you have a spiritual problem, there's someone that you can see. But if physically the only way for you to get better is to do 50 sit-ups now, you can't ask someone to do 10 and someone else to do 5 and you know, all together it'll be 50 and you'll, you'll gain the reward. You have to dig deep, you have to find out what it is within yourself you need to overcome to actually do that. And once that becomes the essence of what you want to do within your training, it just influences the rest of your life. You, you become someone who is more driven, someone who has clearer vision in what they want to do in their life. So for me, the physical aspect is just like, it's just the cherry, it's like the, the physicality and what you, what you, what you wear is just the inner strength that people get to see of, of, of who you are at the end of the day. We'll talk about how you maintain that consistency in just a moment, but I want to discuss the motherhood of it all. <laughs> yummy Mommy, yes. tell us about Yummy Mommy <laughs> and yeah. how that works. Yummy Mommy uh, for me is, is, is a status symbol. It's a pride. It's a woman that is single or married, but she's a mom. And uh, for me, it says, um, you wake up in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror, and you say, I, I am worth it. I am worth this good nutrition. I'm investing in myself. And not only that, I'm transferring that knowledge to my daughter or to my son. You are the HOD of your house. Hello. You've got that thing handled. <laughs> you, for me, if, if, if your body is your vehicle that you own, and we wear it in stilettos with pride, mm -hmm. For me, a yummy mommy is a, is, is, a, is a woman that walks there and all the women want to be just like her and all the men admire. Mm. Because when, when, you feel, when you look good as a woman, you feel good and that transfers to the rest of your family. We are educators uh, to our kids and they mimic mm. what we do. And yummy mommy starts with you as a mom. Um, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids and inspiring them to be confident, mm -hmm. to have self-love for themselves so that they learn to take better care of themselves. 
So that's what it's about. When, when we walk there and we don't want to cover up, yeah. we're not showing off. We are appreciating our craft. We are and saying, hard work. Yeah, this is the sweat. Hard work. This is hard work. We are saying that yeah. I, I didn't buy this. I mm. went there and sculptured it myself. Hello. And I am so proud of it yes. because that is my art and I'm showing it off to the world. And you know, no, yummy. <laughs> what, yes. You are looking yummy. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. What it says to me though, Clint, is that it, it's, it's a mindset as well. Yes. So if you're going to maintain this momentum, you know, and, and, and remain consistent, you're going to have to change it up here yes. first. So give us practical steps, what we can do. Say I've got a problem with uh, arms or the bulge or whatever. How do I target those areas, A, and how do I stay on track and on key? I think the most difficult thing for everyone, I think Nontla can tell you as well, like the difficult thing is just making that decision firstly that yeah. this is something that you are going to do. I think people also have to be realistic within setting certain goals for themselves, yes. within knowing that, you know, once you start, the process might not, well, a lot of times, even like the people that I train, um, I let them know, like, if, if you want to get to a specific, uh, like, uh, like a certain goal and you want to look a specific way, it's not going to be nice all the time. And I think a lot of people, you know, within, within, whether it's our work environment or our, our social environment, when we are taken out of our comfort zone, you know, we, we often flounder. We feel like we are not um, on, 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 like, good footing with a lot of things. So for me, it's like, understand yourself very well. Mm -hmm. Set long-term and short-term goals. Be realistic about the goals, you know. Yeah. And then know that there are a lot of different elements that go along with you um, attaining that goal as well. It's not just the physical aspect. It's the consistency of the physical aspect. It's the consistency of the nutrition. Finding out what works for your body. Finding out um, what will shape you better. Because not all foods um, work with, with everyone the same, you know. Um, are you the type of person that will need supplementation? Are you the type of person who um, train better without supplementation? Do you have any? And uh, for me, the, the, uh, like a lot of things that, that come into play with physical training as well. I mean, I'm, I'm more part of the martial arts um, aspect of things as well. So for me, like your physicality is the manifestation of your spiritual and emotional self. You know, yeah. if you cannot make that change internally, you're going to struggle physically. Mm. Physically, you can probably, by doing hard work, you can find the impetus, mm. you know, to, to change your life. But for me, it's, it's that making that decision, that clear decision that this is what I want. It begins yeah. in the mind. There. Let's leave it yeah. there. Thank you so much. Witness the fitness. <laughs> that is all that I'm going to say today. Uh, it's about knowing yourself, knowing your strengths and limitations, being realistic, setting goals long-term and short-term, and getting off the couch and doing something. First step is uh, the one that's very important. Let's leave it there and uh, take a look at Ziaz, who's looking very sharp. I know there's no flab, not an ounce of fat on Paul. What does the weather look like, Ziaz? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Because I chase clouds and storms so much, I manage to stay fit. This is what you can uh, expect for today. It's a sunny day to go jogging, actually, or to go out to the gym, as it is expected to be fairly warm and sunny across uh, the country for today. Possibilities, though, of a runaway fire, so please do look out for those. And we're seeing up to 60% chance of showers expected over that Lesotho Highland, uh, as well as over the Eastern Cape Province, KwaZulu-Natal, and into some parts of the Free State Province. Your temperatures are expected to be fairly hot. As I said, it should be a nice day to go out to the gym and to go for a jog if you're going to be in Cape.